Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be introducing you to the newest member of our family, our golden doodle puppy. Yay! Who's that? Who's that? Hi! Say hi, Sophie. She is in a playful mood right now. She just woke up from a nap and she is 10 weeks old. We've only had her for two weeks. She is a F1B golden doodle. She'll be probably anywhere between 30 to 45 pounds when she's full grown. So that's technically, I think, a medium sized golden doodle. And her name is Sophie. We love her so much. She is so adorable and we just, she just brings so much joy and happiness to our life. And I thought I would make this video because I've been getting a ton of questions on social media about how we researched and found a breeder, what we did to prepare for her, and just a, a, you know some questions about her. And so I thought I would make this video and I'm by no means an expert in dogs and um, I actually didn't grow up with dogs. I grew up with cats, but my husband did grow up with dogs. And he has a bunch more experience and knowledge on, on dogs and raising dogs, but we really wanted to bring a dog to our family and we felt like now is the perfect time. So um, we actually had been researching breeders and uh, you know knew that we wanted to add a, a dog to our family back in December of 2019 and um, we, we're in an apartment at the time, so it just, we felt like we didn't want to to bring a dog into our apartment because we didn't have a yard and really that much space for a dog to kind of roam around and play in. And so now that we are living in a house um, and we've got a backyard and a front yard, we just, we have that extra space to have the dog, you know, run around and play. We actually put down a deposit on a, on a puppy in February of the of this year, but because that breeder did not have any available or upcoming litters until like fall of this year, we were really antsy and eager to have a puppy much sooner. And so I actually was researching a bunch. Every single day I'd spend a couple hours online on Google, on Instagram, Facebook, Craigslist, just trying to find a breeder and finally found a breeder in Arizona through I believe a Craigslist ad. Found her Facebook page. We started messaging and talking on the phone. She seemed legit. She was really responsive, super nice. And granted, you know, this was only her second time breeding dogs. I felt like she gave me all the necessary information that I needed and we felt very comfortable and confident in moving forward with her. She's based in Arizona. However, she was kind enough to meet us in California, which is where we live, to give us our, our little Sophie girl. We um, put a deposit down with her. At the six week mark was when we had FaceTimed and we got to choose and pick our puppy and we fell in love with her immediately when we saw her. And uh, we decided to go with a breeder because we were very specific, or at least I was very specific with the kind of dog that I wanted and the look that I was going for. And we wanted a hypoallergenic, non-shedding dog. And, you know, a golden doodle is kind of known for that depending on, um, you know, the generation and F1B is, is kind of known for like a low minimal shedding um, type of coat. Hopefully you guys can see her here. There she is. She's obsessed with her bone. She loves chewing on bones. She loves to put anything and everything in her mouth. Then at the six week mark was when we were able to FaceTime and pick our puppy. And at eight weeks, the breeder met with us in California, about an hour away from where we live. And we picked her up and we brought her home. Prior to her arrival, we made sure to really prepare and buy a lot of the things, like essential things, to make it really comfortable for her. I mean, this is a big transition. She's leaving her mom, she's leaving her siblings. So we wanted the home to feel cozy, comfortable, have a lot of toys, have a place for her to sleep. So I, 
and you know watched a lot of YouTube videos I watched uh, you know meet my new puppy type type of videos basically or um, you know puppy haul and essential type of videos and everything is really available online nowadays especially with Amazon I purchased a lot of the things online we bought a playpen for her and we have a designated area where she sleeps in our bedroom it's essentially like a playpen and she's got her crate in there although she doesn't sleep in her crate she sleeps outside of the crate but she she tells us when she wants to go potty. She's not 100% fully potty trained. She'll, um, you know, sniff on the ground or she'll sometimes bark and we'll know, okay, we gotta take her outside to go potty. Uh, the first couple nights when we brought her, it was a little rough. We did not sleep that much. She probably woke up three or four times throughout the night. Now though, she, she sleeps, uh, you know, she sleeps the majority of the night. I think last night even, she maybe woke up once. I don't even know if she woke up once. So she's letting us sleep, which is really good. Her schedule right now is she'll probably go to bed between nine and 9.30 at night. She'll wake up between 5.30 and six in the morning. So she's got mommy and daddy on her toes. Um, but she's been just such a joy. I love her so much. She's such a playful, loving dog. She uh, knows how to sit. She knows how to shake. She knows her name. And she loves playing tug of war. She's got all of these great toys that I bought for her here. And she just, she loves these. She loves playing tug of war with these. Um, we even got her like a little puppy pool because she loves to play with water. She loves drinking water and she's got a good appetite. She eats three to four times a day. And uh, yeah, she's, she's my little girl. She's a good girl. She does nap a lot during the day. So even though, you know, she'll wake up once or twice during the night, um, she does a really good job at, at letting us work. So um, again, that was another reason why we decided to get a dog right now is because we're in quarantine. We are working from home, both my husband and I, and we felt like it was the perfect opportunity and the time to, you know, get a dog and give it all of the love and attention and training that it deserves. We've been spending a lot of time with her, making sure that we're, you know, taking her out to go potty, trying to get her fully potty trained. Um, you know, we are, are trying to be very patient with her and any time she does have an accident in the house, we know it's really not her fault. It's our fault for not taking her out soon enough. So we try and take her out every time uh, she finishes eating or after she takes a nap or after she sleeps. Um, pretty much once every hour to two hours is when we'll take her out. She is a growing puppy. She is so she's getting heavy she she used to be a lot smaller i just i love i love dressing her up i love putting bandanas on her i just love playing with her i love she loves uh biting she loves biting so i'm trying to get her to not bite me so much but it's normal and uh yeah i just uh, i love being with her and i love cuddling with her. She has her own Instagram too, if you want to check her out, Sweet Sophie Dude. Hey, hey, who's that? Hi, hi. That's it, I think, for this video. If I left anything out, if I missed anything, if you guys have any additional questions, tips, suggestions, leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.